it's Anne from craftfantastic.com. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, I think it's a Saturday, a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm gonna show you some of our new products and remind you about some things that we have that are pertaining to the holiday season. And I hope you're having a fantastically creative day. Let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna talk about our new uh, Let It Snow uh, creative card kit. Um, in this kit, you uh, are able to make five cards. Um, this has sort of a Santa red classic Christmas theme. We've got one card, this is cute, you can put a, a money in it or a gift card. Um, we've got our Merry Christmas with the little gift, gift wrapped. And then we've got our little snowman here with a really cute little sort of medallion type um, uh, decoration. You've got Santa, right? And this is something new. With our card kits, what we're doing is we're doing something called a signature gem. And you can see they say handmade or they have the heart, right? So you've got your little signature gems on here also. And this is my personal favorite. It looks like a badge. And I thought that was cute with the little snowman. So this is what, um, what you would make with the Let It Snow Creative Card Kit. So the five cards. Um, the kit, uh, here it is right here. Um, this is, you know, it's chock full of stuff. You got all kinds of great goodies in here. This kit sells for $16.95. Um, and it's, they're very easy to make. And we have videos on our YouTube channel that you can see uh, with the full instructions. And I'm gonna make one in a little bit here for you so you can sort of see what that looks like. This is uh, the, the kit deconstructed. You've got ribbon, you've got the puffy dots, you've got the super sticky dots. All you need is the fantastic glaze and glue and to create this whole, uh, the five cards. So that is our Let It Snow creative card kit. Okay, so now we're gonna make um, a really cute card from our Let It Snow creative card kit collection. And this one's really cute, I like this. Um, it's got a little bag on it and a little flap and this is sort of weighted so it keeps it closed. But that you can put money in here, you can put any, um, you know, a sentiment, a gift card, anything. Um, and those of you who are familiar with Craft Fantastic, you know that our specialty is making these embellishments with, um, with uh, glass and our super secret sauce, the glaze and glue. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little piece of scrap paper. You always wanna work on a hard surface. That's really important. And I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna make this little snowman here. And I am just gonna cut this out. And this goes quickly. And you wanna cut it when it's either completely wet or completely dry. So I'm gonna squirt a blob on here and I wanna make sure there's enough on here so it oozes out the sides because that's what carries the air bubbles out away from the images. There are other products on the market, like there's uh, tape or something, um, but the problem is you end up with a lot of air bubbles. If you do this correctly, you'd never have air bubbles. If you get a little glaze and glue on the cut top, just let it dry and you can scrape it off with an X-Acto knife. This stuff goes through the mail, it's super durable. Uh, when we first started doing this, what, 10 years ago, um, we um, uh, kept, packed all the glass carefully and rarely does it break. And you know, if you take a hammer to it, sure, it's gonna break. But, um, just through normal wear and tear, it doesn't break. And what's great about it is that it doesn't turn yellow. The other thing that's great about this is that it's non-toxic. And what that means is that resin uh, is very toxic. It's in a two-part epoxy process. Um, and it's not, uh, it's dangerous. You need to wear respirators and, and sometimes it doesn't work properly. So you really need the glaze and glue. And this is the best product in the market. It doesn't yellow and it really holds up uh, nicely. So we've got our little piece of glass here and I'm just gonna set this aside. There we go. And now I'm gonna take my, um, my little bag here and I'm gonna fold it over about an inch and a half, right? Just like this. 
And what's nice about the Craft Fantastic card kits is everything is uh, pre-cut for you. It's super easy to do. You don't have to have any any special, um, you don't need any special dies or anything like that. So we start with uh, whatever we're making and we're gonna stick this down on here and you can use any paper adhesive that you like. This is just a Tombow uh, paper adhesive. You wanna try to get all the way out to the edges without going over the edge, which many of you know, this is a little tricky to do. And you don't have to worry about where you glue this down. So you're just gluing it down wherever, right? You make sure it's glued down. If you want to take your bone folder, you can sort of mess with it with the bone folder a little bit. And then your piece here that you've glued down is your guide. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut all the way down here just like this. And again, even if it's on here diagonally, you just are paying attention to um, whatever uh, you have glued down on top. And that's how these kits are designed. So you don't have to do any measuring. You don't need any dies. You just need a pair of scissors and the glazing glue. So I've trimmed that off. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make this little Merry Christmas. And I'm gonna take my uh, Merry Christmas here, and I'm just gonna cut this. And these cards are, are fast. You know, these are not meant to be fussy, or these are meant to be really easy to make and something that you can do quickly. Um, we also are offering party packs, and if you check our website, there's more information on there on that. So you can socially distance and not worry about, um, you know, you can still have fun. We still need to have fun. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking this, and again, it doesn't really matter where I glue that down because I'm using the outside edge of my little piece here to tell me where I cut. Just like that. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's a little weird, wanky, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna do my little signature and this says handmade. So I've decided I wanna use handmade, and in the kits you get hearts or handmade. So I'm gonna quickly put that together. And again, it's just a little blob of the glazing glue. Just enough so you wanna just have it ooze out the sides, it's gonna move around a little bit. I'm pushing down on it. Again, I'm working on a hard surface and I just need to get some Q-tips and I just clean up around the edge. And you wanna move the work around. I've watched people, I've always been interested in how people make things. And I've watched people, people, who, makers who make, who are really uh, very, they consistently come out with uh, good results. I've noticed what the, that they move the work around rather than move around the work, if that makes any sense. So there's my little my little gem, right? And now I'm gonna use the super sticky dots, right? And then uh, the puffy dots, and you can get these anywhere. We get these from our friends at Scrapbook Adhesives, and we're very happy with it. So I'm going to take a card blank. I need a, oh, here we go. And I've got my, bone folder and I'm just gonna fold right along that edge right you want to really get in there and fold that so there's my blank canvas 
and you know what I'm talking about here when we're talking about, we want it to be really uh, big enough so you can really see the drama. So now I'm create, using this ribbon here, and this is looks like little snowballs to me. And uh, what I'm going to do is, and I like using large pieces of ribbon. I love organza. And I'm just gonna tie a knot in the center. Pretty easy, right? And I want to make it sort of tight because it's poofy. And I'm going to glue it on the back of our little uh, setup here before I glue it down, right? And I'm going to use the jeweler, the sticky dots, the fantastic sticky dots, because they're really great for ribbon. So I've got an idea that I'm going to put it right here. And I'm gonna use two of them just to be on the safe side. Now the hardest part that I find um, with these sticky dots is peeling the little orange um, liner off. So I'm just gonna peel this off, just like that. And I walk around sometimes and these things are static and they stick to my clothes and I'm walking around with weird orange dots. Okay, come on. As I said, this is the hardest part. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna work from the front and I'm gonna center my ribbon where I like it. And all I do is I just pull it around and pull it tight. Here we go. And I'm just gonna take the back off. I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off. Okay. And now I wanna situate my, um, my uh, little uh, bag here. And I always like to weight things a little bit on the bottom, right? Because if you make it even, this will look, it has the optical illusion of looking narrower than, um, than if you just give it a little weight on the bottom. Plus, I'm going to put my little Merry Christmas here. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take my little handy-dandy and I want to go over the ribbon with this and just go And I wanna hit a little bit in the center, so I'll do an X right here. And I think I'm gonna put that right there, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my little, and I want a little dimension here, so I'll use our dimensional dots here. And I'll put, you always wanna get the corners and the edges. And if you've got a big piece, you've got to get the center, obviously. But most of you know about these, so. So I'm just putting that like this. And then I'm gonna peel these guys off. Yep. Hardest part, again, is peeling off the little liners off of these double-sided dots and sticky dots. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put my little Merry Christmas down here at the bottom, just like this, right? Now, I need to put this on, and the best way to glue um, the glass down is with our super sticky dots again. So I'm gonna put this up at the top because I want it to come over the flap a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to place it right there. And then I've got my little, um, my little uh, um, uh, signature gem, and I think I wanna put that right here. And I'm gonna glue that down later, but what I do is I just cut a quarter, I uh, cut the sticky dots into a quarter, and then I just use a quarter on the back. And then you've got your cute card that you can put money in or 
you know, whatever, a gift card or whatever you feel like. And that is it. Okay, and then I'd like to tell you about our limited edition ornament kit. We actually introduced this um, this summer uh, in July uh, with Christmas in July for Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. And this is a great kit. This makes 12 ornaments. Um, four of them are duo sides. So you've got one side uh, where you have Christmas 2020, and then you flip it over, and this is a picture of my nephew, and I just took the little collage, you can see the little collage pieces, you cut that out and you put that on the photograph. And so this kit makes 12 ornaments. It is limited edition. We have very, again, just like the jewelry kit, very limited quantities. And we do have a special, if you buy both, you do get a free pack of sticky dots, which is uh, fantastic sticky dots. And that's a $5.95 value. And I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, so now I'd like to show you, uh, this is our second Christmas kit that we've got uh, this year for 2020. It's the Holy Night Creative Card Kit. And again, it makes five cards just like the Let It Snow kit. And again, they're super easy to make. And um, one thing that's nice about our cardstock, this is something called, that we call the Lux line. It's a very creamy, smooth uh, cardstock. And our cards are bigger than most. Many uh, cards are smaller, they're four by six. And I sort of feel like to really do something that's really uh, fabulously artistic and to do something that, um, that really, uh, is is dramatic I think you need a larger card so this is a five by seven these are a sevens we sell the card blanks on our, our website um, but this is and you make five cards and this is sort of a a old-timey um, theme we've got a little retro a little mod sort of mid-century going on here with the turquoise and again you have the signature gems right here um, and then you've got, this one's cute. This is um, uh, little girls and boys looking at their Victorian Christmas tree and she's, she's almost praying to the tree. I don't know if she is or what she's up to, but she's delighted and her little dog is here. And, uh, and this is very layered. All of these are layered. Um, we, we, of course we have the dimensional dots and we have our super sticky dots in the kit. Um, this is Santa decorating the tree, and this says Merry Christmas, and you've got options uh, in the kit to uh, choose different uh, uh, verbiage and different pictures for, for some of these. So, And then last but not least, we have our angels, and... Um, and again, our uh, signature gems. And everything comes in the kit that you need to make the cards, you get the envelopes, and all you need is the fant gla fantastic glazing glue. So that is our Holy Night kit. Now I'll show you how to make one of the cards. And here's what comes in the kit. It's very, you know, there's lots of stuff in here. Um, you've got, again, as I said, this fabulous Lux line cards. You get the Star Dream green. Uh, you get some corrugated bright colors. You get all the, the artwork you need for the signature gems. And this is what the kit looks like. It's packed full of stuff. Dee packed this up for us and it looks fabulous. And uh, the kits are $16.95. We also have a special, which I'll let you know about at the end of the segment, where if you buy both kits, uh, you will get a free bottle of glaze and glue. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make uh, this very cute little card that we've got here from the Holy Night Creative Card Kit. Uh, collection and um, I like this one. This one's cute because we took one of our trays and hung it upside down so it's sort of like a uh, medallion. So I've got my cardstock, right? I've got my images and I think what I'm going to do first again is make my little piece of glass and again just to remind you you want to work on a hard surface And you want to, with the glaze and glue, you want to put enough on the back so it oozes out the sides. You don't want so much that it's it's like in a puddle of glaze and glue, but you want to really push, oh, I got a little some weird something in there. What is that? Uh, you want to push down 
What's nice about this stuff is it's water soluble, it's non-toxic, it never yellows, it doesn't have air bubbles. You don't wanna, um, you certainly don't want to uh, shake it because that will actually put air bubbles in it. And you just wanna wait until it's dry. You can trim it completely wet or completely dry. And I'm gonna trim it completely wet. Alrighty, just like that. And I'm just coming around here. There we go, and I've got my little tray here. And normally, you've got the bale here, and it's something that um, you would hang your uh, jewelry off of. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it upside down, and we're going to use a fantastic sticky dot. And you want to take it and just burnish it into the tray. You never want to put it on the dot first. You want to put it or on the glass embellishment. You want to put it in the tray first. But as you can see, I mean, it's so easy to do this. And many, many people, many people, we sell tons of the stuff for people to use for family photos. So I've got my little piece here, right? And I just made that. So I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, so I've got my artwork here. And I'm just gonna cut this out. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not perfect cutters here at Craft Fantastic. The idea is make something fun, make something meaningful, and make it easy, right? Because we are not experts. We are not trying to do anything that's crazy, hard to do. Now, this stuff is, uh, you don't need any dyes. You don't need anything um, special to make these cards. Um, all you need is a pair of scissors and you need uh, the fantastic glaze and glue. So I'm just cutting this out. These images are fun. These particular images are from a Victorian uh, Christmas. And I love the soft sort of muted colors on this. And I also like the idea, I mean, I like the festive green and red, but I also love this sort of the muted browns and the, the, the greens. Um, I love the blue in her dress, that sort of muted periwinkle. It's just beautiful. So here's our little girl who's just delighted to look at her Christmas tree with her little puppy. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to glue these onto here. And again, look how one's upside down because it doesn't matter um, how you, uh, um, it doesn't matter how you glue this. So I'm just going to take it. There we go. So I'm taking this and I'm just using my tape here. You can use a glue stick. You can use any kind of paper adhesive. I use glue sticks a lot. I love glue sticks. I like things that are easy, you know, and I don't like to have a lot of special weird stuff. So there's that. I'm kind of old school, actually. Give me some paper and a pair of scissors and I'm a happy girl. All right. I'm not doing too well here with the, the tape. This is super sticky stuff. All right, so that's just glued down like that. And again, I'm not worried about it being perfect because we are not perfect at Craft Fantastic. And I'm just taking it and I'm cutting this off just like this. Okay. And I love making things. That's sort of my happy place. I mean, if I could make stuff all day. And I also love making things that I sort of thought out in advance. And that's what I like about these kits is everything's thought out for you. You don't have to really think about it. You've got everything you need except for the scissors. And um, it's just super. And the results are, are stunning. I mean, people really love to get these cards. And the five by seven size is fabulous. Um, and it's sort of a classic size. 
Okay, I've got our kids cut out here, and now we're gonna do our music sheet. And again, I'm just gonna glue this down onto the green. This is Star Dream, one of my all-time favorite papers. It's really gone up in price, but. And again, I'm using the, the cardstock kind of as a, as a protective surface. Okay, so now I'm just going along here and I'm just trimming, trimming, trimming all the way around. And again, it's not perfect, but you can see. And I really love this green color against this brown. I think this green is like the perfect green. I'm not a big fan of that super evergreen cover color, that dark green, but I love a more, uh, I guess a lighter green. I think this is closer to a Kelly maybe, or maybe a moss green or something, but I really like this color. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct our card. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half, and I'm gonna first use a bone folder. Um, I have a wonderful assistant here. Well, actually, she's the director. Her name's Dee, and she's filming all of this. All right, so there we go, just like that. And, um, you know, you've heard measure twice and then cut. That's kind of what you do. Well, that's what you do with all crafts, right? So I'm looking at this, and I'm sort of checking out the distance here. Now, this is interesting, too. When I'm designing uh, things, look at this point of interest here. Rather than lining everything up, what you've got is you've got sort of this tiled effect. You've got a three, you know, a couple. It just creates a little drama. So I'm going to glue down my, my sheet music. Lots of tape. and center it roughly. But because these are hand cut too, you can get away with messing up a little bit on the center. And I'm looking here, and I, what I want is I want an overlap like this, and I'm gonna come down about here because I want this to overlap this, right? at this just like this there we go and now now I'm going to use my dimensional dots and put now here's another design consideration I could put it up here but then I don't see this music underneath so I'm going to hit it right in the middle of the music but I also want to have um, some interest down here and so we're going to use our dimensional dots which you guys are totally familiar with we've got a we've got a great price on these things on our website and we're selling them in bulk also we are also starting to sell something called a party pack and if you buy a party pack you get uh, some free stuff with it and this is so you can have parties at home or you can do zoom parties you know you can still enjoy yourselves and um, you know, um, you can still do the things you love. It's just in a different way, I guess, at least for now. So, okay. So now we have this and I'm, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. And I think I'm going to put it right here because I want this distance to sort of match. Everything kind of matches up. All right. And now I've got my cute little medallion. And um, you could flip it the other way and actually someone could wear it as a piece of jewelry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get, I've got my ribbon here and I'm gonna cut a little piece off. And it's big for this little bale, so I'm gonna make it a little point. And I'm just going to push it through this little bale. 
And then what I want to do, I want to make sure that the pretty side is facing out so we can see it, right? Just like this. And I think what I'm going to do, I've got a little glitter on here now, is I'm going to take a half a, a super sticky dot, right? And I'm going to put it, it's going to help me uh, control this ribbon a little bit. And I'm just going to put this on here. I might cut a little bit of it. You know what? I'm going to actually take a quarter of one that I've got conveniently cut out here. And so just like this. And you actually don't need to do this. I think this yeah. just makes a little <laughs> The hard part is peeling. Actually. And then I'm going to trim. Oops. I want that to be little bit. And the question, do we trim this way or this way? I'm going to trim this way tonight, today. And you can see how cute that is. Look at that. Right? So I'm going to take one of my dimensional dots and put it on the back. I'm pretty neat when I work, actually which is kind of a surprise to some people, but there we go. I've got a little green peeking out right there. And there you go. There's your cute little card with, with your Victorian children and their, you know, the night before Christmas. Oh, one more thing. I've got my little um, signature. Oh, this is the wrong color. I wanted one that was green. Well, here's a blue one, but you can see your little signature gem. And uh, in these kits, you have a choice of a heart or handmade. It says handmade on it. And it just gives it a little extra polish, and it lets people know that this card was made with love and, hand, and by your hands. So that's it on our Holy Night uh, Creative Card Kit. Okay, so I just wanted to let you remind you about the fantastic Christmas jewelry kit. We introduced it uh, this summer on, in Christmas in July uh, for Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. And it's a kit that's jam-packed with all kinds of goodies. Uh, you make three different ensembles. And it's very cute. It's all Christmas-related. You've got um, your choice of images. So um, you can make, and you make, this is, this is a necklace, earrings, and a bracelet that go together. This is another ensemble. So necklace, bracelet, and earrings. And then uh, my favorite, this really cute little angel with this long, this is a new tray for us. We love this. This is a a very narrow, long tray, and a bracelet that goes with that, and earrings. And we also have a special that I'll let you know about later on. Um, if you buy the ornament kit and you buy the um, the jewelry kit, uh, you get uh, free uh, super sticky dots. So um, we are very limited qualities, quantities on this. So if you do want this, I would suggest that you get this right away because we are almost sold out on this particular item. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you about our Let It Snow Creative Card Kit. We just released it this week. So we've got our Let It Snow Creative Card Kit. And then we've got our Holy Night Creative Card Kit. And again, we just released it this week. It has everything in it that you need except for your glaze and glue. And we have a special. If you get by both, right, you get... A free bottle of fantastic glaze and glue so buy both on the let it snow and the holy night creative card kit and get a free bottle of glaze and glue all right and then we've got our limited edition ornament kit and that is right here and that's got everything in here to make 12 ornaments and uh, this has been super popular, and this is a limited edition. We are almost sold out on that. So we've got our limited edition ornament kit, and then we've got our fantastic Christmas jewelry kit. And that is, uh, you make three different ensembles, super cute. Um, and we have a special if you buy both of these. If you buy both, you get a 
uh, super sticky dots. So that's a $5.95 value. So if you buy both a fantastic jewelry kit and the limited edition ornament kit, you get free super sticky dots. So those are specials and they're online. You'll find them online under Christmas fun. And then for all of our people who watch our videos and, and participate with Scrapbook Expo, Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, we'd like to offer you an exclusive site-wide discount of 20% off. You have to put in HO, and it's capitalized, HO, 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 exclamation mark, at checkout, and you will get 20% 20 20 off all items that are not kits or on sale. So all items that are not kits or on sale, 20% off. And that offer is good for a week. So by a week from today on Sunday will be the last day that you can uh, redeem this offer. And I just wanted to remind you all that be safe and you know, we miss you seeing you at the shows and we love you. And um, we're hoping, you know, to see you soon. So hang in there and and Merry Christmas and Happy Thanksgiving. And hopefully we will see you soon. Well, it's been fun, really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys are staying safe and uh, until we meet again, take care and enjoy your crafty, creative, wonderful selves. Take care, bye-bye.